Lafarge is a small village of rolling hills and red barns in Vernon County. Just 750 people, mostly farmers, one of the state's highest rates of children in poverty, a region home to several thousand Amish, known for the separation from modern life, including sometimes medicine. This was the challenge James DeLine accepted when he became the village's only doctor. He is the kind of doctor who does things the old way, carrying his brown medical bag to house calls, performing births, and guiding Amish and non-Amish patients through end stages of life. He is also the modern doctor who investigates some of the rarest genetic diseases on Earth. I began working with the Amish uh, in this area uh, over 30 years ago, and I think by building trust with the community and figuring out ways of solving problems with simplicity, simple methods, low cost, uh, led to more and more patients coming. So now we see patients coming kind of from all over the northern Midwest for consults and visits uh, with us at the clinic. In the Amish community, there are certain reasons that they tend to come to the clinic. They don't come a lot for simple things or well-child exams, but we would say trauma, sickness, and pregnancy-related things would be preeminent. And then there's an increased risk of genetic disorders. So we see we've become more expert in managing and learning about these conditions. We've worked with some of the clinics out east who really originated this work. Uh, and so over the last six or seven years, we've really embraced that work along with our others. We've become more expert at these in that. One of the conditions that we see quite a lot is a condition called Troyer syndrome, and it's a condition that is a form of spastic paraparesis. What that is is stiff legs that don't work well, so they're stiff and they're uh, somewhat clumsy. They often have other features too. This is a very specific form that's rather unique to the Amish, and we've now seen probably six or seven families with the condition and can sometimes diagnose it even in infants, and certainly by the time they're three or four years old. If you were writing a letter to your 28-year-old self, what would it say? I would say be true to your principles and your values uh, and live simply. I'm hoping to continue working as long as it feels right in my heart. Yeah.